Hey guys, the objective for this video is to check if the material has yielded according to von Mises and Tresca's yield criterion. So if we have a look at our question here, we've been given our normal stresses and we've been given our shear stresses. And we need to check if it's yielded and the yield stress is equal to 100 MPa according to von Mises and Tresca's yield criterion. So what we want to do first is we can plot our points on the Mohr circle and then we can work out uh, what the principal stresses are. So we'll first look at the right side and plot that point, uh, plot that side there. We've got a tension um, force given by our normal stress here, so that's going to be a positive 30 for sigma x. And then tau xy on this side here is, a is causing a clockwise rotation, so therefore we'll be using negative 30. So the first point is 30, negative 30. And then if we have a look at the bottom side here, we've got a compression um, stress here of 25 MPa, that's going to be negative, and then we've got a anti-clockwise rotation caused by our shear stress here, so this is going to be negative 25, 30. So we draw a line across to those two, we'll form the diameter of Moore's circle, and then at this center here, we, um, we have the center of our Moore's circle. And this center is going to allow us then to determine what the principal stresses are. The principal stresses are going to sit here and here. So what we can do is if we've worked out the center and we know what the radius is of our Mohr circle, then we can subtract off the radius and then, or, and then add the radius to our center to work out what the principal stresses are. So what we want to do first is we want to determine the center. 